What's up guys, it's your boy Jamecca here coming at you with another deck tech. This is the first deck tech of season 16. This is of course Hypergenesis. I couldn't say that for any deck, like of course this, but Hypergenesis was one of the better decks I built on the stream. I only built really two decks on stream for the rotation party, which may or may not be uploaded late. I'm still trying to edit that video. There were some weird things in that video, but anyways, here we are, Hypergenesis. A bit of a different look. I'm returning all stars from the list and some new faces honestly so i think i feel like this season is going to be really and i mentioned this on the rotation party uh video which will be uploaded eventually but i think this season is going to be really about the greatest hits of the a mecca career of penny dreadful there's a lot of like really fun decks returning and they all have very viable pieces so i'm gonna try to remake all my old decks starting with this deck hybrid is one of my darling decks um this list is a lot different from other lists. I think mainly because of the enablers that you have. Most of the time, uh, this deck is really good because you can enable a turn three hypergenesis off of like a fast land or like I think in like the last season was legal. I think the channel season season fourteen there was ardent plea and you can actually turn two an ardent plea or just turn three with an ardent plea. So that's really strong. But this time around, the cascade spells are kind of lacking. Uh, we there is a three mana. Cascade Spell and Demonic Dread, but it requires a creature. So that can be a little tough against some of the control decks. So, um, but we're going to get right into the deck list, honestly. We'll just start. Uh, 23 lands, Grand Coliseum, Temple of Malice, one of the new Scry lands. The other Scry land legal is Temple of Abandon, though I'm not playing it uh, currently. I have no reason to play green other than playing Hypergenesis, but I think if the game goes that way, uh, it's not good. So. I'm pretty much down for playing like Temple of Malice, uh, Swamps, Mountains, and uh, Grand Coliseum. This, there's no blue in this deck. I think it's really weird to not have blue in this deck, but because of like our enablers here, Demonic Dread and Throws of Chaos, you kind of need black and red mana. So like I mentioned earlier, Demonic Dread does require you to have a creature, which gives you a couple complications, honestly. Um, so if you have a Throws of Chaos, which is, I think, the best uh, Cascade card, honestly, because... Technically, I guess Demonic Dread is better, but it's it's uh, situational. The Thros is always going to hit um, Hypergenesis, unless you hit a Demonic Dread, which you can hit off the Throws of Chaos. So you have to be really careful when uh, you kind of hyper uh, when you try to go off here, because you can hit this Demonic Dread, and if there's no targets, the spell will uh, counter itself upon Revolution, because there's nothing to cast it on. You can't you don't really get that Cascade trigger, so you'll you probably won't get the uh, Cascade. So you have to be really careful about that. That's why there's like three in the deck and four of these, but for another reasons as well. Uh, the packages are really good this season. Um, you get Bokarn and Hellkite back, which we're kind of missing from season 14. Uh, the Yosei clone package is still good. I think Yosei with clones are really good. Clones with hyper, uh, Hellkite's really good. If you've never seen the deck list, basically you're trying to construct like a three card combo that would kill your opponent in certain ways. So something like a Master of Sphinx, uh, two Hellkites would kill them. A uh, Sphinx Hellkite clone will kill them. 20 life, actually any life, I'll tell honestly. Um, if they're at just 20 life, you can go like Ancient's Tread, Double Hellkite, um, or, you know, Ancient's Tread, any Ancient's Tread, and then any two of these five drops, five power uh, creatures will kill them. Uh, Yosei, copying Yosei will kind of lock people out of their decks. Um, you can kind of do like double Yosei Eternal Cyclops, and you creatures have haste, you lock them out for a turn, you hit, hit them for five, tw 10 once, 10 twice, hopefully they're dead. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different combinations. This is like one of the stronger packages that you can build outside of like the hyperwave versions, which are a lot different. But um, most of these cards are castable. I'm choosing clone over something like Vizier of Many Faces just because you can actually cast this card off of single Coliseum. I think relying on having have like two Coliseums is really bad. And uh, Paint Trouble doesn't have any like tri lanes anymore, thanks to a Pioneer. They've taken all the tri lanes away. So there's going to be more like two color decks in this world, I think. But um, yeah, so what 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 utility do we have? Because if we're black red, uh, most of the time it's like a turn three, turn four. Uh, but this is this is scary times. I think like in the very beginning of seasons, aggro decks are really popular. So we have to play with a bunch of split cards. Carnival Carnal Carnage is um just picks off little creatures. I think it's really good as mono red. Mono red probably being a good matchup, but also a bad matchup all at once. A really fast deck. Um. The Carnival Carnage is here. This could be De be Deck Bedazzle, which is in the sideboard, but I'm not really sure what's better right now. So I'm going to go with Carnival Carnage. Uh, 
think. I think it's better. I'm not really sure. I could be completely wrong. And Mastermind's Acquisition is a really cool card. It tutors all around. So not only is it a tutor in your main deck, it could also be a tutor for your sideboard. It's like from a wish action. So um, if you're missing like a Cascade piece, you can go get the Cascade spell. If you're missing like a piece of the puzzle here, you can go find one of the pieces here. And, or if you're some, dealing with a deck that needs a certain answer, you can go to your sideboard, which right now the sideboard's not really wish-like, I guess, but it is, I think it's pretty decent from the cards I've kind of been looking at. Um, so let's go right to the sideboard. Demonic Dread, the extra sort of, I think if you're playing against an aggro deck, you get to bring this in, so you get more chances at, like, kind of demo, um, going off here. Uh, P and Kieran Alar, it doesn't really do much. It kind of comes up the board. But it's also just there to have a creature that you can cast so you can Demonic Dread off of. Because you can Demonic Dread your own creatures, of course. So that's why kind of P is here. Uh, Consecrate, Consume. We don't really care about the Consecrate part. Uh, just kind of Graveyard Hate, I guess. Reanimator is, I think, a really good deck. So this is a really good uh, option for that. Only, honestly, the only option. Chandra Pyromaster. We have Planeswalkers now. Good Planeswalkers. So this is an extra way of just drawing extra cards. It's Control Decks. Persecute. Mostly against blue decks, you just kind of persecute blue and hope for the best. Um, granulate, uh, I suspect Everett Steel's can be really good, so I want sort of like board wipes, so Granite's really good. You can use extra, he's a really interesting card, um, also a board wipe. But also it's good, if you have a Hypergenesis in your hand, you can cast a Hypergenesis off of Heaney's Everett Steel. Someone on my stream told me that. Um, I think it was Murpatty, so shout out to you Murpatty if you're watching. But that's a really good thing, so if you have a Hypergenesis stuck in your hand, but you also have a Master Race Acquisition, you can go get the Heaney's Expertise and just cast this. No problem, you get the Hypergenesis off. Never Return, um, like I said, Split Spells aren't affected by the uh, Cascade Spells, because these are Converted Mana Cost with Combined. So this is a Converted Mana Cost of 7, so... Nice clean answer to uh, other Planeswalkers, bigger creatures, things like that. Also, the Aftermath thing is not the worst thing in the world. If you want to make a token, you can target your own guy with Demonic Dread. And the Big Deck Beazel is just kind of more removal. Um, I think there are probably some X2s that kind of want to kill, so this kind of kills them with 2 mana. Pretty good. As a split card as well. So we're going to play in the tournament today. Uh, the first tournament of Pain Dreadful, Season 16. I've played very few matches. I played like maybe one or two in the um, on the rotation stream, but I felt pretty good. The list is, I think, pretty tight from here. I mean, I'm sure I've got a couple things wrong, but it's the first day. You know, I'm about to get things wrong, so. A couple notes about this. The new video is coming up one. The thumbnails will look better. So they'll be actual good thumbnails. So you're welcome. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to work more on like kind of the graphic side of things. Um, but two, the videos will be long form. So what that means is that if you're used to the normal format, which is like every round's kind of cut up and you can kind of just like skip to the rounds if you feel like, this, this video will be all one long video. So if you're looking for a specific round or you kind of just want to like watch a specific part, uh, you can go to the comments description below. There'll be timestamps. There's also be timestamps in the very first comment will be my own comment on this video. for. I think it's good for mobile users. So uh, if you want to go ahead and click around that, you can go ahead. So I think the longer form videos will be better. They're less spoiler spoilery, so you don't really know like how far we've gotten. I will try to record as, uh, like for tournaments. I think I'm going to try to record the entire tournament. Uh, so you'll always see something going on to the finals. But whether or not it's my deck, you don't know. So unless you kind of skip to the end. So uh, yeah, that's that's the deck. Um, enjoy the deck deck from here on out. All right, round one was our Penny Dreadful Hypergenesis list. I'm against Ribbons of Night, one of the scariest players of Penny Dreadful, the best Penny Dreadful player of all time. I know, it's weird not saying it's me, but it's them, actually. Um... I don't know what they're playing. I don't know if this card's gonna be good <laughs> against them. I really don't know. I should get a mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan. I don't know what anyone's playing, so I couldn't tell you. I this hand's so bad. <laughs> um. I'm gonna keep for science. Sure. This is a kill. I just have to find a cascade spell. That's doesn't trigger the demonic dread. A cascade spell. Um 
I hope they're playing creatures. <laughs> For the lock. I hope they're playing creatures. Is that a creature? Please be a creature. Yeah, it's a signet. Signets are good. It's like the I think one of the few legal signets. Okay. I could turn four of them, so this is the scary part. If I hit <laughs> I have a higher chance of hitting a demonic dread than I do a hypergenesis. So this is like the worst position I could be in. But I can churn through the um I can kind of churn through the things here. Okay, so the shields are down. Okay, I just have to get lucky, and I win the game. If I get lucky, I win, so you know me, I'm gambling. <laughs> I'm gambling all the way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm so incredibly lucky. I only have two hypergenesis in my list and three demonic dread, so if I hit demonic dread, I don't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he is very dead. I don't know what he can do in this situation. He's actually incredibly dead. <laughs> I'm so lucky. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad how lucky I am. Okay, you have an Ancient Roll Dragon. It's fine. Do this. <laughs> They're dead off this. I have one more that just tapped them out. Lead Guard Mage. That's fine. That's totally fine. Alright. Good mulligans. Intelligent gameplay. <laughs> that is that is the stream. Basically that is the entire point of this. They can't get out of this, by the way. There's no way they get out of this. I don't know of a card that can get out of this. Sideboard there is stuff like Orm's Chant. Um I will keep here. I'll keep this Yose. Um okay, so if you're playing this for the first time. You want to put the Mattress Sphinx trigger last on the stack. So when it comes off the stack, it comes first. Tap down my five. So they take they take they go to ten life first, and then all the triggers happen. Their trigger goes on the stack first because non deck player, active player. So they go to twenty three, then they go down to ten. So the life gain does not matter. They can gain like a billion life, and it really doesn't matter. All right, let's go to sideboard. So they are playing with creatures. So, Demonic Dread's actually not that bad, but their creatures don't start till turn 4. I guess Carnival Carnage is not very good. Actually, it's not that bad. I think I'd rather play Persecute, though. Um... Maybe Chandra's good. Also makes her cards. So, like, Demonic Dread's not the worst. I did see, I did see a 4 drop there. That could be, like, useful information. I am worried about something like, I think Orm's Chant is legal, so I'm worried about things like that. Yeah, that's the problem with Throws that's why I was so worried about Throws of Chaos. Because if you don't play a creature and I cast a spell, I can't cast it if there's no target. So it's, it's, it's really scary. I think of that being said, I need to play me on Pia. I do, I do want to play some Carnival Carnages. Let me cut one of these. Let me play my Pia. Go like this. You weren't prepared for hypergenesis. <laughs> you you're a fan of the stream, Kaleok. You know you know what's gonna happen. You saw me build the list. Someone actually uh clipped my I I really have clips that I don't make myself, so but someone clipped me making the hypergenesis list. So um <laughs> someone someone's watching. I got eyes on me. But anyways, I think I'll try this. I know, I was ready for Tempered temper Steel too. Look at this. Look at this nice little 4-drop here. <laughs> I was ready for Tempered Steel as well. My little, my little granulate. <laughs> By the way, um, Ribs and I have a long history of playing this format. Um, we played 30 times and we're, I'm 15 and 15 again. So I'd like to make the tie break. <laughs> I'd like to beat the tie break. That's a little history fact for you. We used to go at it, and we used to go at it during the um, the leagues when I played league a lot more. I'm gonna keep this hand. Now I have a fifty-fifty chance of either hitting demonic dread, 
or Hypergenesis. I took out. I actually took out a Demonic Dread. So here we go. I get like lobotomy. That'd be kind of annoying. Oh, it's really bad. <laughs> it's the risk, but it's a risk. The calculated risk for sure. But you know, if you're, oh, that's pretty good. If you're just as lucky as me, <laughs> then sometimes it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Okay, Signet. So, I mean, even if I miss the first time, if I draw another land, I get the retrace to throws again. So I'm not super worried. Unless something... Unless they play Rule of Law. Okay, Cortisar. There's a creature! That's a creature! <laughs> okay, if I just draw... If I draw a Demonic Dread, the game's over. I only have two in the deck. Okay. One turn to live here. They, they had a mana up. Oh, god. So they could play like Silence or Orm's Chant, I guess. Let's see how many times they Orm's Chant me, though. I'm just gonna jam, by the way. I, I do not care. Okay, right, tap. Don't, don't lobotomy me. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so the game's over. I'm just calling it now. Oh, that was fun. You guys weren't ready. <laughs> now he has to see that he, because he played a creature, he lost. <laughs> it's tough. Um... The champion of wits. I mean, this is much a, such a ribbons deck. It's like goes long, plays like these advantage creatures. It's it's, it's very much a ribbons deck, like through and through. This is twenty right here, but I have more things to do. I actually have my entire hand to do. Hostage taker. It's pretty good. Hostage taker would have been good if I didn't have two cyclopses. I only have two cyclopses in my deck. So actually, Hostage Shaker would it, is not actually that bad. Um, this one, that guy can't block. Five, all those, and Scry. So they get to take something, but it actually doesn't matter. Uh. I don't know what they can take to get out of the spot. Luckily, I have two haste guys, so. <laughs> and then they miss an untap step. And they go to 10. They die, so. Better lucky than good. Um, That's my motto here. That's the motto of the channel. That's the motto of the stream. Better lucky than good. They must not be playing counter spells at the bottom. Yeah, I'll put that on top. I might have the Cap Genesis again. I won't. Can't block. Attack you for. All right, that's hypergenesis. Just turn four kills. That <laughs> too slow. Maybe it's pretty slow though. But we got we did what we could. All right, round three. Round three. Round two of their pay dreadful hypergenesis list. Won pretty quickly there in the first round, so let's see if I can continue this. Okay, I'll try it. Um, hopefully my opponent has creatures in their deck to make throws a little better. Let's see. But I also need, like, some stuff. I need some, like, creatures, whatnot. That's a creature. I'll keep that. Didn't really scout much. So I don't really know my opponent's playing here. Green, that's a good start. Birds of Paradise, you got it. Okay, so that's a creature, so this throws is good. Um, 
So that means that like no matter what, if I hit a demonic dread, I'll I'll be able to target a creature. So we're good there. Ooh, red green. Okay. All right, a little bit of ramp, a little ramping action. Never hurt anyone. Um, I'm kind of worried because maybe my opponent has some like big creatures they want to put on the battlefield. So maybe this next turn I might bring out like a um, like a big idiot. Okay, they're just ramping. They're just ramping their life away here. So maybe I have an extra turn to just. It depends on what I draw here. Uh, maybe I can take a turn off to like kind of. They haven't done anything, so I feel my life total like intact. All right, I think I'm gonna take a turn and just kind of like. I think I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get a a, a Magister Sphinx here, and that will just and no, that won't end the game. I need to get, I need to get Wearing just Tread, and that will end the game, no matter what. Or should end the game no matter what. Because this is about billion damage. They're red green, so I don't feel pressured or worried about anything that they can drop that would stop this. Unless they blew up all my lands or something. They play the Beanstalk Giant, go for it. That's a good that's a good turn for. That's a really good turn for. I, I agree with that. Dry in here. Okay, I'll put that in the bottom, actually. Let me cascade. Alright. I hate the hypergenesis. Pretty sweet. Okay, I will start. The cards want to start with the Rage's Tread. And yeah, this is about 25 damage. 20? I can't count. No, it's 20. It's actually just 20. Um, this guy flies too, so technically it's like 25. I do have haste. It's 20 like here, and then another 5 here. They have to gain like a bunch of life. Oh, it's a dreadnought. Wow, it's a, it's a dreadnought. With these all my opponents. So I guess there's like a red green ramps strategy. Okay. Yeah, okay, they're gonna keep the dreadnought. I have no opinion. <laughs> Alright, so at least I know my Dominic Dreads are good. Um, it's kind of a weird situation, so I kind of want to keep the little things in here, but the little pingers, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep them, keep the creatures alive. So I think I'll just bring in like Never Returns, in case like a big creature comes out or a Planeswalker I don't want to deal with. Maybe a Persecute too would be pretty good. And I think that's it. I want to bring in the extra Demonic Dread, just so I can get extra turn threes off. I think that's all I want to do. You don't want to really sideboard too much in these uh, combo decks. You want to keep, like, majority of your pieces online. Want to discover dispersal? Not really. I don't know. I don't think it's that super consistent, but I think it's still pretty good. The, 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 the scry lands kind of smooth things out. Um, you can stall the game a bit with the split spells. So I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm fine. I've played discovery dispersal before. I haven't really liked it. What I usually like is just, like, Making my deck really redundant. And this is like drawing as is. You have four turns to basically like draw the correct amount of cards. So like if I draw like a matchless Sphinx here, the game's over. The it's just, just kind of over. The Yose is pretty good. Um Like I have Scrylands here. Throws I don't really need. So I, I have the demonic dread, so they have to play a creature at some point. That's just their strategy. So I can like take my time. But I, I never really like cards like Discovery Dispersal a lot. They can also just not play a creature. That'd be pretty interesting. Second Temple's really good. It gives me double black. 
Maybe we should have kept the throws. But then again, I could hit a Demonic Dread and nothing would happen, so it's a little scary. The Beanstalk. Footsteps. No creature yet. Um, maybe they're just playing around Demonic Dread. It's fine. It's totally fine. I can just build up my hand a bit. I might stop at four lands. Um, I want to keep a land in for like Throws of Chaos if I draw another one. I probably should have kept that first one. But I was looking for more like action here for my uh, Hypergenesis. So I might keep the land in my hand, the fourth, the fifth, and sixth lands in my hand, or I might just start playing things. It depends. It depends on what my opponent plays here. Said like a Nessian boar. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see what I get. All right. Well, I guess the game's over. Um. Yeah, I was just looking for a Sphinx, basically. Alright. I'm gonna keep the last clean up. Alright, remember you want to put the Magic Sphinx on the, on the stack last. So we'll point all the triggers a word stread to my opponent. Target my opponent with the magic sphere. It's always healed. F6. Game's over. Oh, something's happening. Yes. Trigger's on the stack, but it's still it's still effective here. So Alright. Another one bites the dust. Oh right, round three or the pain dreadful hypergenesis list. Still rolling here. Still won the die rolls, really good. Um I'm gonna mulligan this hand. This hand's pretty awful. We peaked in our last opponent's matchup. They're playing uh mono red, so pretty decent matchup, I would say, throughout history. I'm gonna keep this hand a little weak, but I do have a three mana thing. And if it, all you do is just kinda draw creatures and I'll win, I guess. So hopefully I just like draw a couple creatures. <laughs> turn four is the scary part. I don't want to get to turn four, then my opponent just runs me over. So I'd like to just draw like a couple threats here. Ooh, no, no drop. Okay, that's good. Oh, maybe they're waiting for the second main phase. Okay, oh, that's that's good for me. That's excellent for me. Okay, a clone, not the worst. Need some friends. Clone needs a couple of friends. The thing is about the Mono Red matchup is that, like, the Mono Red seems bad, but they have to play something to deal, like, they hurt me. Like, this Pyromancer, so... I can wait like a turn or two. Um, this is not a really threatening board. Okay, Magister Sphinx. Um, I'll wait one more turn. Maybe I draw like a... Uh, if I draw... What's the card? If I draw Wearing Just Tread, the game is over. If I draw... Uh, uh, Bogard Hellkite, the game is over. So, I got a lot of good droughts. If I don't draw anything, I might just go off with this. I think this is just good enough. Let's see. And then it requires an attack. Uh, if I, oh, if I draw a Cyclops of Eternal Fury, the game is over. Unless I play a flyer. I can just make two flyers here. Yeah, I got a lot of outs, I would say. I have a good amount of outs. 
Okay, um, thinking. I can't die next turn, I don't think. So I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'll just play super patient. <laughs> Like, even if you play with something like a Hell Rider or something like that, I don't think I can actually die from that. Like, it's 1, 2, 3, this is like 11. Uh, if I draw like, a, the right card, I can win. Or I could put myself the 10 and them the 10 as well. So, so I take like. Uh, like three okay i can gain seven so not the worst okay um try this this should end up with me winning the game Unless they play a flyer. Clone this. They have a flyer, I mean. Shout out to them. <laughs> that was a good draw. That was a clutch draw. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, I'll target myself with one, I'll target them with the other one, and they take ten, and they die. This insurance. Nice, says my opponent. Clearly no one was on this. I don't think anyone really had an idea of what was going to happen <laughs> today. <laughs> and I was on stream, you gotta follow the stream, Twitch ID, TV slash Chain underscore Mecca. I, sh I show you everything. It was there, there's there during the, the party. If you're in for the party, you would have had the inside track. Alright, I'm gonna play the fourth Demonic Dread. I'll probably play a couple more removal spells here. Some could be, be decky basils just to kind of stall the game a bit. Um, I think that's it, really. Persecute could be okay. Probably not. I just want to go off as quickly as I can, so Demonic Dread's really good here. Uh, I think that's all I want. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, com it's a combo as old as time, you know? If you're watching the YouTube, you would know. Um, if you get on the streams, you would know. But it's a combo as old as time. Yeah, it took, um, you know, it's just a weird error to have Jamana Dread in this format right now, but I guess it's an error that came into my favor, because it, it really, like, shell, it just really, uh, put the deck into motion, I guess, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Brain, hard with words. But yeah, maybe if I don't, like, draw, like, the correct combo pieces, like, the Carnival Carnages and the uh, Bedeck Bedazzles can kind of just, like, um, stall for a bit. Obviously, these are split spells, so they have a uh, combined cover to mana cost. This is a 5 drop, and this is a 8 drop. So you can play these spells and not get caught by the Cascade. Good there. Yeah, Mono Red, throughout history, has been a pretty, like, I think it's like Hyper Genesis favored. Just because they don't have any way of like dealing with the combo, other than just trying to like kill you as fast as possible, which is definitely possible. I mean, you saw my hand. My hand was not very good. I had to actually draw into the correct cards to win. Like sixty percent hypergenesis. Yeah. I guess we could look at the lifetime stats. Let's see. Let's see what 
Brought to you by PainTripleMagic.com, Lifetime Stats, Hypergenesis versus Modern Red in its entirety. Oops. Calculate. About, yeah, about 67%. 63 wins for Hypergenesis, 31 losses. Uh, I want a mulligan in his hand. His hand's not great. This hand's okay, it will stall for a bit, but if I draw a Cascader, this will win the game on the spot. I don't need the Yosei here. So if we did uh, Carnival Carnage here, can kind of stall for a bit. But this is a good hand. All you need to do is draw one of the Cascaders and a couple and a one or land. So I'm okay. My opponent also mulliganed. They mulliganed to five. That's a good start for me. And now, yes, I have this carnival here to kind of stall the game a bit. So too bad. Not too bad at all. But yeah, this is a three card combo that can win. Um, Matcher takes them to ten. The two treads will kill them. Sorry, domed. I agree. Okay, bad draw. It's okay. <laughs> I won more in the deck. It's not a big deal. Uh, one thing I could have kept was like the Masterminds Acquisition, so I can find a Heaney's Expertise. I should have kept one in. That's my bad. But I have, I have an Expertise in my deck, I can actually play the Hybrid Genesis from my hand. So my bad on that. Okay, there's the Dread. I do need to keep a creature on board. I don't want to keep this creature, though. I think I'll just carnival this. I don't know. Yeah, it'll take a while to grow, I guess. I don't know. They might not have any more creatures in their deck, so or in their hand. They have two cards left, so I need to I need to have a creature on the board. So the carnival's not that bad. So all I need to do is draw any land. Any land will win me the game. Uh, not a tap land, but any any random land will. So they like a Pyromancer or something, I mean, you should know Pyromancer, I can just kill that. That's a really good carnival target. Stormblood, that's all I was worried about. I was worried about a Stormblood. Because if I don't now draw a third land here. See, this is why I wanted to kill this. Because I think a Stormblood would have been really bad here. But now, I don't know. I'm not going to take advice from the Mono Red player in the chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm getting punished just a little bit. Okay. If they try to level it up, I can just in response kill it. I do have another turn. I mean, I have a lot of turns, really. Depends on their, the scope of their hand. They're at 11. Um, I don't think I'll die next turn. They're going to try to level up. And do it now? Spectacle me. Okay, that's bad. I need to draw this land. Okay. Mm. This, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, it's a trigger. Um, this is really bad. This is good, I don't need this card here, but this is pretty bad. I got really punished for not playing, not killing a Stromkirk Noble. Now I'm at 8. I do get to kill this figure of Destiny, so it'll let me live a turn. Unless my opponent draws anything, any spell that's good. I'll go to uh, 2 here, which is really important in case I draw another Swamp. Okay, I guess I'm just dead. Bit no kill there, huh? That was your line. <laughs> No, my position would have been great if I killed the noble. But I didn't draw eh, that was the third land. I would have I needed to stall two turns, so. Your line sucked. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep one of these in. I'll take out like a Yose, I think it's fine. I'll keep one of these in just in case I need to draw like you can use expertise if the game goes really long. I think the game won't be that long, but we'll see. 
there was the worry, like I said, like if they didn't have a creature. I could just play the expertise, honestly. Maybe that's just better than having the mastermind than just waiting a whole turn. I don't know. I really don't know. Henny or Yahini? I keep saying Heeny. I think it's Henny. Let's get a better hand here. Oh, sure. Let's try this. A little stalling action. This time I will kill the first thing. I don't really care anymore. I don't care. I'll do it. Yahuni? Maybe. All the lands in the world just need some action. Just kind of like similar to round one or game one. I pull on Mulligan again. I lost. That's my first game loss today. Okay, that has to die. I'm very confident that I'll play other creatures, so. Like I said, it's good to kill the first thing. Right? Good on, I'm good on Cascade spells, I just need action. Just need act. A couple of hell kites would be enough. Like a little bit of anything would be fine. Also, if I keep my life total high, that's also really important. As long as my life total is very high in the mid to late game of this. Earth Shaker Kendra. A little too unhasty. Also can't block. Has a target something, huh? A... Pretty good. Even on the internalized part. Um They might have to kill us again. Ping, ping, ping. Where even life tolls is so funny. Kind of hard to kill this, but I mean, it's six mana internalized. If the game goes to turn six there, I'm probably going to lose. Pain me? Oh, if I, oh, I got punished. I got punished by not playing my mountain there. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna carnage my opponent. Gonna get rid of their hand. Let's see what's left. This is a good carnage, I think. All right, they had Hellrider and a Skewer to Critics. All right, perfect. So now we can just stall the board for a bit. Now I can just kind of wait. I feel pretty decent. Turn on Megaliths. That's not a big deal. They gotta level up. They use their whole turn to, to hit me with a one for one damage. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, um, that's something. <laughs> that's a start. Any creature, I'll take. Any any random creature, I'll take at this point. Level up to a four four. So any creature will do on this point. Um, I'll take anything, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. That was a close one. See, these games can be really close. <laughs> So Yose is going to get cloned here. It's going to tap down my opponent. Also, my opponent also take ten. So nothing crazy should happen from here on out. one has got one card left, but it shouldn't matter. Oh, 
So the clone will copy the Yosei. Both will trigger, and then I'll trigger the Yosei trigger. That should be the game. I can totally hypergenesis again if I need to. I'll try to figure out what to do. Got one card left. I'm not sure what you can do. Who would have thought that Blightlink would help me to win this game? <laughs> They're saying something. I'm just thinking, I guess. I knew you were trying to sabotage me, Kayla. I knew it. I knew you were trying to sabotage me in that one game. I get that win percentage back up for Model Red. I know you. I see your. I see you. <laughs> hey, don't kill that thing! And it killed me. <laughs> hey, just don't kill that thing. This is the last time I listen to you guys. Listen to chat. Oh, my Yose. I'm gonna keep. Originally, you'll say, tap my opponent. I will dome my opponent here. Man, all that Carnival Carnage stuff actually um, actually helped out there. <laughs> all the little pings and they're like, everything happened just right. <laughs> That's actually really funny. All that incidental damage actually helped me win this game. The little carnivals, a little carnage. Let's see if I would have drawn another 5-5. Five, five. That would have been pretty good. Alright. I want to see. Yeah, okay, I would have drawn another one. So yeah, it would have been good. Alright. Alright, Justice. Alright, round four with our Pain Dreadful Hypergenesis. Uh, list. Um, oh, Baker's playing Reanimator. Uh, could be a tough matchup. I'm gonna keep this hand. Um, Reanimator is pretty probably a faster combo deck than mine, but we'll see what happens. Okay, blue land. Good. I don't get turn one. Perfect. We could turn two. Um, if they play, they need to play a creature just in case uh, the Demonic Dread misses here. I've seen him play like a uh, Merfolk Looter, so I feel okay to have Demonic Dread in my deck. Yeah, four lands would be good. Three, uh, Demonic Dread would be great at some point. Okay, there's the aforementioned Looter. Temple of Malice. There's my fourth land, so let's see what we got. Lot of this. Alright, so turn four, I should be able to come, on to come out on top. We'll see. I will tell. Okay, there's the Leviathan. Definitely very, very blockable. Right, he's going off. Okay, Recurring Nightmare gets back the Inkwell. I can't actually target the Leviathan with, um... What's the word? I can't actually target this with that, so <laughs> a little awkward. So I'm gonna have to get, I'm just gonna get a little bit lucky on this throws of chaos, or he's gotta play a creature and mess up. Okay. Yeah, there's a nightmare. Nightmare does get him out of the scenario of um. Me putting a, a board out, so on the Leviathan, I can't cast it. Okay, here we go. Got a hit. Um, I can't hit the. Okay, I hit demonic dread. That's bad. It's okay. Another chance. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I have one more demonic dread in my deck, and there's one in my hand, so can't get lucky all the time. I, I if I could clone the Leviathan, I absolutely would, but I cannot cast clone. All right, well, here we go. Okay. This could be scary. My opponent could have a ton of random creatures. <laughs> random huge creatures in their hand. Okay, they have a looter. 
I have a bunch of clones. Hmm. I guess I'll clone the sorcery speed, right? I guess I'll clone their guy. <laughs> I mean, this is already lethal, so the the where just treads alone are lethal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. Uh, always guess, always yield. Alright, boom. -boom. <laughs> On to the next game. <sighs> no, I got lucky. I honestly got really lucky. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was very lucky. <laughs> I was lucky to not hit the other Demonic Dread. If I hit the other Demonic Dread, I would have been really bad. I've been in really bad shape. Okay, let's try Consecrate here. We get to try Consecrate Consume, at least. We get to try Consecrate. Let's see if this works out. Um, I don't know what to play. Oh, what, I don't know what else to play. Maybe Never Return? I can't really... Oh, man. So I had... I had Hit Run in my deck, and I didn't think about the other card. I, I swear I had this card in my sideboard for a while. And maybe I should be a one-of in the deck, but I really had Hit Run. A Hit Run would be amazing in this spot. But Demsa breaks. Hit Run would have been so good, honestly. I'm going to play like a Never to Return. It does kind of get things out the board, so maybe it's good enough. I should have I should have had hit run in my deck. I didn't think about Think Well Leviathan. I didn't know it was legal. Clearly, I did not do a lot of research. <laughs> Clearly, my research was lacking. Maybe I should play the other Never to Return. A return does exile creature things, but it has to be in the graveyard. All right. This is a turn three. Not a great turn three, but it is a turn three nonetheless. If I could play counter magic, that'd be really annoying. Get down top. I need the fourth land. I guess I have to cast a bunch of throws. Okay, back. This is a good start. The problem with playing this deck against um, reanimators is that they could have their own gigantic creatures. Usually, they want them in their graveyard, but they have them. In their hand, it's really bad. Okay, they have Rune Scar Demon. No black mana though. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try to go off. Um See what they got. I'll play with land first. I'll start with land. I want to see what they, if they put out anything. Yeah, I'll play another land. That's actually a big deal. That's actually kind of a big deal. It just means I can't like slam all my creatures in there. But I will kill all their looters. This is kind of a rough spot. I'll, kill, I'll hit one of them because I could just like slam my creatures into this. Then they can't really block effectively. I don't know what they'll get. So this way, because it's a 6-6, six, six, I can just trade here. I have two more throws if something happens. Okay, they are going to trade. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. I do know the Throws of Chaos. So. 
I guess I can reanimate a Runescar Demon again. Okay. I don't know what they. I guess they can get like recurring nightmare. That'd be really annoying. Okay, I have a plan. Um, I can throws into a demonic dread and get in for another five. But I have to hit. I have to hit demonic dread. What's in their graveyard? I wonder if it's worth it. But then I lose the I lose the hypergenesis. Yeah, I'll try it. I think it's worth it. If I don't if I don't hit here, then I just don't attack. Okay, well, I did that, so <laughs> I'm not gonna put anything on the field. They could put their recurring nightmare if they got it. Okay. They will pass. So the rest of my deck is just Demonic Dreads. So I have two Demonic Dreads in my deck. I can just Cascade into Demonic Dreads. And the game could be pretty good. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, they got a Frantic Search. They've been to land. Oh, they're just digging. They're digging for something here. Hopefully they don't have counter spells. That'd be really annoying if they had Negates in their deck. I'm not sure if they have that. Okay, the temple. At some point, I can start casting my spells. That's a good draw. I can cast that next turn. All right, let's keep cascading. I know my card's demonic dread here, and I know I'm not going to get anything else. So my whole deck is shown. <laughs> so they can't block. Pretty great. All right, they're negating the demonic dread. Okay, so do you have counter magic? That's just fine. Hmm. All right, this is interesting. I can clone their rune scar demon. So I think I'm gonna clone their rune scar demon. Let me see what they do. I want to see what they do here. Yeah, they're attacking. Alright, they have Recurring Nightmare, so they maybe they get into the Rune Scar Demon. They can't really get Inkwell. Okay. I know my card next card is Clone, so. Wait, did they put that on top? Did I not put that clone on top? Did I not put that clone on top? Wait a minute. Did I put it on the bottom? Oh, am I stupid? How stupid am I? I swear I put that on top. I must have put it on the bottom. Oh, I must have put it on the bottom incidentally. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. Okay. Oh, I'm so stupid. I could have won this game easily. Okay, I have one more Demonic Dread to cast. Target my opponent. <laughs> or target this guy. <gasps> no, because of the... Oh, because I cascaded. It shoveled my deck. That's why. Okay. Okay, that's why. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm right. So I just need to draw anything. I have a lot of cards to draw here. They can't. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They have the uh, recurring nightmare. So it's just a matter of me like drawing a clone, or like drawing a Yose, or drawing something to disrupt this creature. I have the never to return. I could draw never to return. So I could just kill this, and that'd be good enough. I don't have any more demonic dreads to filter through my deck. I don't think I have the last ones in my sideboard. So yeah. Okay, they have a negate up now. All right, let's. I found the clone. <laughs> Good old clone. <laughs> I get around a mana leak here too. So, all right, clone my guy, Dome you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
freaking cascade! You you stupid mechanic! Freaking stupid cascade! You almost screwed that up for me. Alright, top eight match with their opinion general hypergenesis this for season sixteen. Uh I was like the first seed, I would think. Oh, first or second seed, I don't remember. Doesn't matter here, we're in the elimination rounds. Um playing against Briar Moss, they're playing the um Red White Cycling deck, the new aggro side deck from Trevor. So we're gonna keep this hand. Uh draw a black source of mana, I think the game will be wrapped up here. This is about fifteen damage. I could just kinda wipe their board and just kind of attack them for a lot. So their deck is really dependent on having creatures on the board, so playing a demonic dread here would be pretty great. But you need a black source of mana. This is a guaranteed kill, unless I gain some life. Just need black mana. Okay. No creature yet, but that's that's fine too. I get another chance at this. Okay. I gotta stay patient. As long as I'm alive, I can still win the game. All that matters. Okay, there's my black source of mana. Uh, Briarmas can also just never play a creature, but then that'll just let me draw into... Um... Draw into like a Throws of Chaos. I have one more Demonic Dread in my deck, so. They could just play the uh, Lightning Rift game. Okay, can't get the triggers off this. This is a good plan. If he was thinking about Demonic Dread, this is a pretty good plan that they've formed here. This is, would be the way to win the matchup, for sure. It's a kind of just keep uh, lightning rifts down. So I'm just going to have to draw the Throws of Chaos. Alright, I need to draw another land, and I need to draw Throws of Chaos. Or any black land, I can find Throws with the Acquisition. Yeah, they're just gonna not budge on the Demonic Dread. Okay. It's tutor. And I've gotta not miss, basically. Ooh, you know what I should've done? I should've gotten, like, a- no, P and Cairnala would've died. So, let me get my Throws. And just hope for the best. I have a- only- <laughs> I have a 66% chance to hit uh, Hypergenesis, because I have one more, I have two Hypergenesis in my deck, and I have one more Demonic Dread in my deck. So, those are my chances. <laughs> and if I draw another land, I get two chances at it. I don't think I'll die that quickly, so. Let's roll the dice! <laughs> and if I get the Hypergenesis off, the game's over. The game's just super over. I have, I have more than enough to kill my opponent. I could just die to a, a really big Zenith Flare, I think, at some point. I don't know. We'll see. The Zenith Flare doesn't map. I don't know. We'll see. I could die to a Zenith Flare. Let's see. Four. Well, hopefully I draw the third of my Dreadness to be over. I draw a Hyper Genesis. That's really bad. Okay, let's... Okay! Sixty-six percent! Two-thirded! Two out of three! Of course I hit the two! <laughs> of course I hit the dread! <laughs> I hit the other dread. Okay, so a land would be good. <laughs> that was a two out of three! I had two out of three! I don't want to remind you, that was a 2 and 3 chance. <laughs> 
That's really unlucky. <laughs> I have to say it's very unlucky. But you know, the luck was on my side the other last time, so we'll see. Sometimes the coin falls the other direction. Okay, so I can draw another throws, or I can draw another land if I survive this turn. I'm going to take at least 8 this turn. So I might just die. I think I'm just dead, honestly. They've kind of figured out that Demonic Dread is pretty good. <laughs> and it is very dependent on them drawing a card. But in, in reality, though, I think this is the only way they can actually really kill me is with the Lightning Rift. So I just have to kind of like dodge Lightning Rifts in their hand. I can kind of win. Okay. That one costs two to cycle, so it's not too bad. But I can just get domed by a Zenith Flare here. They've just kind of amassed a bunch of cards. Okay. All right, that was just really unlucky. That was just mad unlucky. <laughs> I'll just show them. I had I was gonna draw the land, so hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have shown my hand. Maybe I just. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? Okay, these are... I kind of like Carnage as a discard outlet. Hmm. I think I'll play Yuhini's Expertise in case I draw Hypergenesis. I could just cast it off the Expertise. Uh, maybe I just cut the Dreads. I can't really deal with enchantments, so... At worst, I can just kind of tutor them back. I'll play like a single Persecute, maybe against like... Cut this, bring this in. It's gonna be a little tough, but I do have my Friends Acquisition to kind of tutor for them, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Brian was asked me what happened with my throws, and he, and he said, well, I didn't have a creature to target, so I can use a, the Demonic Dread. But we'll see. Maybe he didn't realize that ha not having a creature was bad for me. <laughs> not having a creature was good. I don't know. I don't know if he really thought that through. But it, that could be the switcheroo. That's the thing. The switcheroo is, like, real. But... I think the game could be slow enough where I can just kind of like deal with that. Let's see. I should have played the Bedeck Bedazzles, actually. In case he plays creatures. This is a hell of a mulligan. Alright, I'll keep this. This is fine. I actually need to draw like action. The deck is mostly creatures. They all cycle too, though. Problem. Just gotta draw some creatures. If they play something, I don't know if people are playing this card or people playing like Defending Silence or something like that. That's really bad. Okay, so they they have creatures now, but I have the I do have answers to creatures, so it's not like a big deal. I'll just get the turn four and hope I just draw enough spells. So they went for the switcheroo plan. It's the game within the game. That's like really what matters here. It, it really is the game within the game sometimes. Okay, I'm going to wipe the board here with the Hades Expertise. That's a good draw. Um, I do get the wipe. Wipe it up. Nice little three for one. And then hopefully they just don't have another thing. Okay. This is a kill, by the way. 
This is like 30 damage. <laughs> All right. All right, Persecute bad. I don't know why I'm playing that card. I'm going to cut these for a Bedeck Bedazzle, for sure. Because they play a bunch of X2s, so I think Bedeck Bedazzle is just better. I think I want to bring the Mondrex back in. I think they're not going to do that twice. I don't know. I don't think they're going to, like, do the thing twice. And I kind of need, like, ways to kill creatures. In fact, I could bring in Never to Returns, in case I have to produce a creature. So, because the return part can make a creature. I'll, always, I'll cut a UMC, I guess. Alright, let's try this. this is a good, I think it's a good compromise to everything. I think Brian Moss keeps mind gaming me. He didn't even realize I was on hypergenesis, so <laughs> I don't know if he's like mind gaming me or not. Um it's a little awkward. I think I'm gonna keep it just because it's kind of a kill and I just need lands. So I'm I'm gonna keep this on the fact that I could just draw two lands and win the game. Hopefully. Looks like they're mulliganing. They mulligan the six. It looks like they're just cycling a bunch, not a big deal. Alright, so now if I find a fourth land, I can just go get a hypergenesis with the he needs expertise. The other secret way of casting hypergenesis. Okay, and now I just need a land. It's cool. <laughs> Alright, any land, a lot of lands coming to play untapped will do. Okay. I guess I get rid of the acquisition. I don't really need it. I just need a land. If they don't do anything, then I don't have to do anything. That's pretty great. Ooh, Tendo Ice Bridge. Alright, here we go. He needs expertise. That's hypergenesis. Go play Magister Sphinx. Play a Bogart and Hellkite. Play a clone. I will copy my Bogart and Hellkite. 
That's 20. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's 20. It's 20 no matter what. All right. Whew. Close one there, but expertise into hypergenesis. Just, just like a jury it up. Shout out to Murpatty. He was the one that thought about that. All right. Round uh, top four of the Pain Dreadful hypergenesis deck. What? Yeah. It. Hypergenesis deck, this is a mulligan against Trevor. He's playing another red-white slide deck, so I'm going to mulligan this hand. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. It's not bad, as, as long as they play creatures. So I'm just going to keep and hope for the best here. Hope that I just kind of draw some cards. Um, Ramos had a really good idea of just kind of like playing no creatures, but he had a uh, lightning rift, so we kind of went, won that game at that point. I draw all three of my dreads. I think it's a really good deal. Okay, I, I lagged for a second. I thought I like F, I, I clicked the land F six and I was like really scared for a second. So I think I lagged. So I didn't actually F six. I'd like to draw a second uh, black source of mana here, so I can at least like tutor for something. But nonetheless, if I'm not dead, then the game's going great. That's all that really matters to me. Uh, Trevor can easily just like load up a bunch of cycling cards in the graveyard and just dome me for a bunch with the Zenith Flares. So that might be something they can play. So there's, they only have six in the graveyard, but they have to draw a fourth land. I'm sure it's not a big deal with a bunch of cycling cards. They, they have to play the fourth land. It's my black source of mana. I start playing my threats at some point too, which I might have just play the Uranus' treads. It looks like they're gonna go for the don't play creatures plan, and maybe just try to find a bunch of Zena flares. But they got nine cards in their graveyard with a uh, cycling Zena flare. If you don't know, is basically a card that kind of just. Kills me if they have a bunch of second cards in their graveyard. It's a pretty reasonable plan to have. Play where he just treads, why not? The next closest card I can play is like a Cyclops of Eternal Fury, which I could target with my own uh, Demonic Dread, so I'm actually looking to draw that at some point. They have all the cycling cards. Wow. 13 cards in their graveyard with cycling. 14. Okay, these are some scary. This is going to be some scary Zenith players. Wow, they, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry I didn't cycle this card. Okay. I can do nothing but pass. I can't. I can. I can't really do anything right now. I'm so surprised they didn't just cycle that card. Okay, seeing this player me up down to five. They're at thirty-five. All right. About that. All right. What's the plan here? I think I'm just gonna take out all of these. Go back with the expertise plan. I want to cut the Carnival Carnages. Not really sure. The discard aspect of Carnage is pretty good. I will play Bedeck Be Dazzle just in case they actually play the creatures. And just kind of go for the controlling plan. Expertise is really good with Hyper Dancers we saw in the last round. I think that's my plan. Maybe I can play like. Okay, I think I'm going to play the Pia actually. So I can have a creature I can cast early the kill. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'll try this. Let's see if they do the switcheroo. If, even if they do, it's not really like a big deal. I can just tutor for um, my throws. Uh, sure, I can keep this. 
I have a slowish hand, but see what happens. Like, if they play turn one creature, I'll just kill it. Alright, so they went with the switcheroo here. Whoever has popped into the stream, so he kind of knows what's going on with my deck. <laughs> so that's, that's one thing I have to remember. It will kill this. Bonds. This is one you cycle a card, right? Okay. Like I said, as long as I'm not dead, everything is fine. But yeah, a bunch of Xena players is not very ideal. I would like to draw a fourth land. I looked up, would like to find. A uh, throws. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to do the same thing they did last time. It's a good plan. Okay. I guess when all your cards are cycling, you could just do this. And if decks like mine are kind of just slow and dependent on certain certain things to happen. Alright, found the fourth land. Just need to draw a thing. <laughs> draw the thing, and I'll be fine. I can draw Hypergenesis, or I can draw the Throws of Chaos. Either one would be pretty good. Honestly, Hypergenesis wouldn't even win in this spot if they just seen a Flaring response. We got 11 cards in a graveyard already. Although, I don't know, this deals about 30 damage. A little rough. Um, I just cast this. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna Zenith flare me. That's, that's kind of tough. <laughs> Can't really just take the burn to the face. All right, I think I'm just dead. Yep. All right, that's about that's about it. All right, they had a plan and it kind of fell through. If I just do a throws at some point, I would have won. There it was. Oh well. GG's. All right, we're back with the finals of uh, the first paint dreadful season tournament. This is we're now watching the finals here. Uh, lost to uh, the Trevor uh red white slide deck. They kind of just got a bunch of Zenith flares on me. Big old Xena flares, but Baker's made it to the finals with a blue black reanimator. All right, turn one of Flourishing Fox from uh, Trevor. Pretty good on a turn one. Helps you kind of just sort of amass a big threat with all your. I think almost every card other than basic land cycles in this red white deck. On the other side here, Magus of Azar. It's going to set up a really big turn next turn. All right, another Flourishing Fox. And a cycle from there, so it makes a bunch of two twos. So, a nice aggressive start from uh, Trevor. But this next turn could be a little nuts for Baker. We'll see. We'll see what this uh, Magus flips. All right, gets a sire, angel despair, and a magister of work. A lot of options here. Um, I might just get the Magister. I'm really sure. All right, Reanimate does get Magister. It's gonna wipe the board, except for the Magister themselves. Magister worth 
a healthy staple in the paint of Lahorna. I've kind of gone for the last season, but now it's back to wreak vengeance. All right, Lightning Rift coming down for Trevor, but this is a really bad spot. Um, you could take out the uh, Magister with the Lightning Rift uh, in the next turn. You draw another land, you get two one mana cyclers there, which are there are a lot in their deck. Okay, nonetheless, Baker passes. I pass right back. One thing about the Reanimate deck is that it, it can kind of just kind of like do the thing it needs to do and then do nothing else. So we got the big creature out, and nothing else is really going on. So Lightning Rift is going to target the Magister here. It's probably going to die. At the end of the world, I mean, Baker T deck does bring creatures right back from the graveyard, so they will live on. All right, another reanimate on the uh, Angel Despair is going to take out the Lightning Rift, but Zenith Flare right back at Baker. And Baker's already at six with these two reanimates. So Empty Recurring Nightmare needs a creature to start using it. Another Zenith Flare would be just game. Ooh, this Lightning Rift does represent a lot of damage. Ops to play the Cyclic Land. Interesting call. Needs a bunch of mana just to get, kind of activate the Lightning Rift, but I figured... You would cycle a card here and then cycle two cards next turn to win the game, right? But who knows? Maybe they just didn't need the land anyway. All right, Baker's going to four. Yeah, two cycling cards would do it. Right, another memory leak cycled. Baker's going to two. And then let's see if there's one more cycling card or a Zenith Flare to finish it off. Yep, the Forgotten Cave, and that's it. The reanimate's a little too damaging for Baker, so Trevor's going to win that first game. So, typically in like the beginning of seasons, a lot of people just will load up on graveyard removal, graveyard hate, and from Trevor's like original... 5-0 list. There are cards like Silent Grave Zone and whatnot, but I'm sure Baker has answers to that as well The this next game. The Reanimator list uh, from Baker pretty good on a turn 3. I would say it's more of like a turn 3 kind of like uh, deck. They're not playing things like Putrid Imps or whatnot, so much more of a slower game plan. And by slow, I do mean turn three. <laughs> if turn three is slow enough for you, I think. Game two for Trevor and Baker. Baker's gonna be on the play here with the reanimate list. Also five. Trevor keeps seven. All right, turn two, looter. Why not? Cycle from Trevor as always. Alright. Looter is gonna loot. Looters be looting. This card's an island.
Another blue. This is gonna draw the uh, help them draw out their mulligan a bit. But the turn to lightning from Trevor could kind of start taking out looters. I think it's just good to have that done. Blue black, like historically, has trouble de dealing with enchantment, so the lightning rift will be pretty good for the rest of the game, unless Baker come up with some sort of down spell. Finds a resolute archangel in their graveyard. Wins a, bu wins a rebuke. All right. Return target nightline permanent to his own hand, and each player mills two cards. All right. The Vantasaur will be cycled here. Right, mills two more cycle cards for that. Baker is gonna mill a Sire of Insanity and a Windsor Rebuke. Or another Magister of Worth, actually. Good mills. Cards you don't want in your hand for sure, even though there is a looter on the board, but it's going to die right here. I had to guess. It's the Brana Healer. Brana Healer is gonna get cycled. Taking out the Merfolk Looter. Cycle so comes back right gain a life. Pretty strong against Mono Red, honestly. A recurring nightmare hits the battlefield. No creature in sight, though, to uh, kind of take advantage of it. A sire would be a really good draw if they can get the sire in the battlefield. That'd be really strong. But Charmer can just kind of hold all their cards up here. So, plays another lightning rift. This is be kind of tough. It could kind of kill one cycle card. Could kill the sire, assuming the cycling card is one mana. Alright, Footfall Crater, another Cycler. I don't even want to name out the Cyclers, they're all just like one mana Cyclers. <laughs> this Cycling card, and this Cycling card, and this Cycling card. They all seem to be like... nothing. Crazy thing about the, cy the Cycling deck is that if they just if the opponent does nothing, they can just keep churning through the deck and look look for a Zenith Flare, a big... Uh, the big Cycling payoff card, where it kind of... Builds your opponent for a number of second cards into your graveyard. They gain much life. Alright, Dark Ritual, probably gonna hard cast something here. Maybe a Rune Scar Demon? Alright. This is kind of a big game here, unless um, Trevor can just kind of find a Zenith Flare. Ooh, that's it. That's gonna be the game. Trevor's gonna win 2 0. Congrats to Trevor. Had a 5 0 in the uh, first leagues. First day of league, and now a win here for the first term of scene 16. Congratulations to Trevor in the aggro slide deck, red white uh, aggro cycling deck. I don't know what you want to call it, but congrats to Trevor. Good match. All right. Boy, Jamaica here back with the wrap up of the uh, Pain Drop Hyperdentist list. Um, we did pretty well, honestly. We did all the way to the quarter or semifinals, lost to Trevor. Uh, they had a really good plan going into that, just kind of cycle a bunch of cards, only a bunch of Zenus, um, Zena Flares. That was a very fine plan. Demonic Dread is good and bad all at once, but you have to take it good with the bad. Um, this deck is really good at just kind of like surprising your opponent, especially if people don't know what you're doing. It's kind of insane. 
kind of insane to do. Um, there are other builds you can make of this. You could, I think, like blue black might be a thing to do in the future with um, Cathari Remnant and Deny Reality. Those are cards that are always live. And that was one of the problems I was having with the deck with this. The monitor was not always live, so you can always play you can use in the main deck too. So even in case you draw your Hypergenesis, you can get that going. So blue black can also be a consideration. You do lose the Scry Land here, which was pretty strong, but um. And you lose throws, which is also kind of a strong card, especially if the first one whiffs. You get the, you just do it again with Metal Land. So, um, I like the acquisitions a lot. I like the, I mean, the packages were fine. I don't know if any of like three were ancient shreds, but they are. It is just pretty good to have. Um, I liked, I liked Carnival Carnage. I kind of came to handy once against Model Red. Uh, I kind of wish I had hit run, but you know, never to return is fine. I never got to return anything. I thought there'd be more planeswalkers, but. Uh, Bedeck Bedazzle seemed alright. I think the Heaney Doctor is just really good. Maybe I just play like four of these and like maybe more Hypergenesis. Then playing its uh, artifacts, but I think this card deserves a slot. And I never really played Shantra to Persecute, it's a good effect. Maybe it's like not even worth it. Um, I can see myself playing P and Nakir in a large main deck, but I continue this list just so I can Demonic Dread something. Like, I think that's I think it's a, a big deal. It's like, I need to Demonic Dread something. So maybe I need to play like main deck creatures that I can uh, easily like sift into this. So like I don't know, I can figure that out later. But I think I need to play something that I can cast that kind of fits into the theme. But that takes a little more uh, research. But who knows? Um, the hypergenesis list is strong, very strong, I would say. Uh, not a lot of people are prepared against it yet, but. Who knows? You know, it's a long season. It's day one, and it's a good day one deck. I always say, if you always watch his uh, channels, that day one, you gotta do the most broken thing you can, you can think of. And right now, this is the most broken thing I can think of. So, thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.